I spend more time enough to build on four consecutive wins at home to Boston United. Ryan Hall and Glenn Taylor scored a goal in each half in a 2-0 victory over Chester on Saturday, a result that left Moors third in the National League North, and tonight represents a chance to close the gap on Stockport County to three points with a game in hand over the Hatters. Jason Ainsley makes two changes to the side who beat Chester on Saturday. Ryan Hall and Andrew Johnson are replaced by Sean Tewton and Liam Agnew. He makes his first start for the club against a side he spent two loan spells with over the course of his career. Spenny Moore lined up like this tonight. In goal, Matthew Gold. Defenders, Callum Williams, Stephen Brogan, Jamie Chandler, Robert Atkinson, James Curtis, Sean Tewton, Liam Agnew, Glenn Taylor up top, Rob Ramshaw and Mark Anderson with Chris Thackeray, Chris Elliott, Ryan Hall, Andrew Johnson and Adam Boys all on the bench. We heard from all the volunteers who came down to get the game on. Without them, we wouldn't have a match tonight. No, it should be a really good game against a Boston side with a freshman 5 4 win against Geisley. Boston will be with our right hand side in yellow and black striped shirts, yellow shorts, and yellow socks, while Spenny Moore will be in their home black and white shirts, black shorts, and white socks. Big short to Mark Anderson who tries to switch it with his left foot and it's going to force Ramshaw into a 50-50 which he's won knocks it back to Williams who's had a really accomplished few weeks and he cuts inside and comes away from a fooler and then it's a lovely ball into Taylor and they get it back from him he leaves it for Anderson Anderson loses out but it falls nicely for Agnew it's a great first time spread out the left wing and it's a first chance for shooting to run at Boston here he's just been scissored around the middle referee was play on and the ball comes to Brogan who delivers one along the floor and it's easily dealt with great first touch from Agnew who shoots oh it's just wide 25 yards out on his right foot flashes about a yard wide of the right hand upright it's a fantastic hit it looked like it was still in the top corner had the keeper or he definitely would just wide but a good start by Lee Magnew in the midfield I think nick anything would be over the moon I think but time wasting after 17 minutes is a bit extreme long kick straight down the throat of Matt Gold but he's not going to get it it's Alit who flicks it on and it's a good save from Gold in the end relatively routine As the goalkeeper, George Willis, looks long again. Here is Qualter, and he'll look long again. Yeah, it's just and going long. Atkinson will head it away. Chandler looking to turn that on towards Ramshaw, but again, this time it's Gibbons, long away. Up to the edge of the spinning wheel penalty area, and Rollins has managed to pick this up, and it's in a shooting position. It's a great chance here. Good block from Callum Williams, who held his ground with the number 10 bearing down on goal there, Jay Rollins, who's been sprightly so far, if not dangerous, but that was a good moment for him and an important block. Sean Tooten now, Spenny Moore should try and launch a counter-attack from this position. Tooten inside to Agnew who's got options, he's looking for the Hollywood ball though and he shouldn't have and it's easily dealt with. He had plenty of support over to his right there, Agnew and he's trying to go for the Hollywood over the top for Ramshaw who'd made a darting run. Something going on here, I think the referee's injured. He's limping to the sideline, the referee. And well, this is a new one. Yeah, confirmation now there will be a short delay as the official right, situation okay. gets sorted out. Right, we've just had a cleared up for us there. Uh, Pete has just come up there and very kindly filled me in. The referee, as we thought, has been injured. He, is he has headed off with his assistance down the tunnel. Tonight's game will continue to an injury to the match official. Ball's Ball dropped at Matt Gold's feet inside the Spenny Moore goal there, and we're back underway. The linesman is now the referee. That's absolutely not his game, as a quick throw in's taken there. It's looped into the 60 yard box, everyone's left it. Tune, great save. For it. Oh, and it couldn't be turned in, it's turned away. It's still in play, actually, here is. Brogan picks it up, Tewton can't believe he didn't score there, Tewton, it's Willis with an unbelievable save on the line, as Anderson looks to curl one just wide, and that's the start of the second half that Spenny Moore needed, yeah, something much, to wake everyone up. Much more positive there, and that's a great stop from the City's near post, but you just expected the net, the balls there when Tewton headed that, but positive, positive start, and it's Spenny Moore on the, on the front foot, but it's about keeping this up now. It's a good flick from Rafula there, as the ball came into the penalty area, but... Moors can't find their way clear here. It's a little bit of pressure from Boston. And Toot did really well to win the ball back and then clear it. But Anderson's got men up with him, but he couldn't find any of them. And 
the backtrack in yellow shirts surrounded him. He's Rollins to pick it up on the edge of the area as they come forward from Rafula. It's going to fall for Allard inside the penalty area. Great save. Great save, Matt Gold. And really, he's made two big saves now, Matt Gold, and he's keeping Moore's level here. Yeah, great save, but he came out really quickly and spread himself. It was a bit of a tight angle for Greg uh, Allard there. Rolls all the way through to George Willis, who kicks long up pitch. And Ramshaw picks that up on the halfway line. Here's Agnew looking to get Moors moving again. Curtis down the line. If you're just joining us, it's nil-nil here at the Brewfield. And Taylor's pulled away from the defender and scores! 1-0 Spenny Moore. Huge mistake in the Boston defence by Ryan Qualter. No, it wasn't Ryan Qualter. It was the other centre-half. It was Lewis Gibbons, who's stricken here on the edge of the penalty area. Glenn Taylor was the beneficiary, and it looks like a serious injury possibly here to uh, Lewis Gibbons, actually, for Boston. Glenn Taylor, well within his rights to carry on. And it's 1-0 to Spenny Moore here at the brewery field. Yeah, I think that was the only way we, maybe a goal was going to come by a mistake, and it, it has arrived. Glenn Taylor, great pressure from him in fairness. Closed down the space well. Really calm finish under pressure. Corner from Walker and it's turned away and fully back in with good save Matt Gold and he's held it well done brilliant Matt Gold because the ball came flying through bodies he won't have seen that until very late Agnew blocked a clearance and almost put Ryan Hall through on goal there. Curtis with an important header, but it's only gone back to Salad. This is going to be a chance here for Max Wright, who looks to have gone away. Williams tries to bring him down, but it's turned over the bar by substitute. Nicky Walker, and that was a big, big chance for Boston. That's their best chance of the match. <laughs> It was shit, wasn't it? Flicked into the penalty area, but Brogan heads away and then Curtis is underneath it again. The panic station's a little bit for Spenny Moore as the ball's finally cleared by Andrew Johnson and the final whistle finally goes to end tonight's game at the Brewery Field. Spenny Moore win again. It's five wins in a row for the Moors. It's 1 0 and they move to within three points of Stockport County in second place in the National League North. Another job well done from Spenny Moore tonight, Jack. Not vintage, not at the very best. A difficult game, a very, very difficult game in the circumstances of everything that went on with injury to the referee, serious injury to centre-half for Boston, um, Lewis Gibbons. And you'd just be happy to get away with the three points, I think.